Hello there everyone and welcome back. We had two matches in my last recording of Battlestar Galactica and they were definitely a good learning experience although the first match was a little bit one-sided I'm not gonna lie so really all I can do is try and be consistent in my movement and try and dodge torpedoes which I still kind of failed on but with the second match at least I still want to experiment a little bit with Holding off on deploying my fighters until he's about ready to harass or spot me with his own fighters or interceptors, so... At least that way, with the 4 seconds it takes to deploy these fighters, there's still 6 seconds that they could fly onto the enemy fighters and just shoot them down for free and he would have no way to prioritize targeting them, so... Essentially, I can get some free damage there and maybe they're already in position to kind of shoot at them for the next turn, making it really awkward for my opponent to really respond because in all honesty from what my experience has been I should almost never win a fighter battle just by the sheer numbers of fighters they have in comparison to mine so if I could play these more reactionary and more of as kind of a trap they should do relatively well especially if I'm really good about focus firing game my adamants and maybe manticores to help contribute with the damage some I am gonna have to experiment with it some more and see but let's get to our next match, shall we? Alright, it's go time. We got another lower rank member or player, so I'm still feeling really damn confident in my abilities. I just gotta remember to try and dodge the damn torpedoes, because those things can make things awkward for me really quickly, and yet they can be so easy to negate, at least so early on and at long range. So group is in. you would think Three, I shouldn't have to two, be concerned about them, but one. they are a serious threat, though. So we are going to see what he's fielding, what's going on, and from what I can tell that's his ranking so I should feel good about my my position here. All I ask is please don't go under the 4000 point value ideally. And we got 4 ships, which doesn't say a whole lot just yet, that could mean anything. So I kind of want to lower everything down some. Not so much that the adamant might take the hits. Like, this is of course again the main concern, is dropping down one of my ships so much that it takes the place of the other one should torpedoes actually come my way, which I really should seriously reconsider my starting placement of these adamants. And also my manticores are kind of... Yeah, with that said, let me actually bring these ships up first until the manticores are in a better Onyx. position that they're not really awkward because I'm actually diving down to my manticore's position. So I want to avoid that ideally. And actually this anime can stay down just to be safe. And we'll just reposition them just a tiny bit. Not much. Not much. Just keep them going but I'm not going to have them go full ahead so that way again like I mentioned before with experimenting with the fighters I can at least have them be get cover from my adamants and Man minotaur. Assuming he even has fighters that he's going to use aggressively. But otherwise, everything's looking good. Aside from my Minotaur actually didn't raise any all that much, so I want to fix that some. And neither did my Adamant all that much. So just to be safe, I want to make sure dipping and moving. And of course I need to be mindful about checking for collisions of some kind. Because... I'm all set here, it's just a question of if he's launching fighters or if launching missiles. I don't know what he would be doing with those two minutes with only four ships, although... To be fair, I just burnt two minutes prep time doing kind of the same thing with six, didn't I? So, I could be wrong, but did I see two fighters come out of one uh, signal? Or is that three coming from three fighters coming from three separate ones? I want to say I saw two coming from a single ship, which would probably mean a battle star or an atlas. I'm leaning towards more the atlas or battle stars, so that probably means a colonial fleet. Understood. Also, again, I need to keep these. I want to keep them close to my rest of my fleet until I can get an opportunity to get aggressive. And now, Adamant, you can go down lower. Understood. This Minotaur can go down as low as possible. And you can follow suit. Preferably not taking his place for any missiles that might come. So that's my turn essentially done here. I just gotta watch 
much for the fighters and ideally try and get a good opportunity to hit with my own fighters, my fipers, when he gets close. Also, it probably doesn't hurt to set focus fire now. Although, I wish it... Let's see, what's the better... Oh, it's I, I've been hitting the middle mouse button again, but the tutorial strictly said it was what? The right click, so... I'm going to go for that one. Focus that one, because it looks like it's going to come to me first. Just want to try and figure out a fast way to do it. I could just click on it, couldn't I? Silly me. So they're focusing. Minotaur and all that aren't really going to do much until later, so I'll worry about them later on. <coughs> I just want to keep my posture standards for the sensor range, because I wonder, do I get an accuracy penalty if I haven't identify them? That's the only thing I'm curious about, so I'm going to play conservative and wait until I actually detect the Vipers or the Raiders or whatever they actually are. And then I need to, yeah, he's dipping down, so I need to get as low as I possibly can to make sure his Minotaur gets his full firepower in. The Animates won't have much difficulty, but the Minotaur will definitely be hindered if he gets below me. And again, I can't comment on how effective the Manticores will be because I have no idea of their arc. And he is coming straight for me. That was a pretty uneventful turn, so I think I'm going to play super slow here. Play super slow, get really low as, as well. And then next turn, if these Vipers or ships continue coming my way, I can at yes, least sir. start hitting them with my uh, Fipers next turn, or at least I'm going to launch my Fipers next turn. Although this turn motion is going to give away what my plan is. So I do need to be careful of that. Understood. And also dipping down low, lower, will be good. As much as I can anyway. Because he could still have torpedoes, I'm not oblivious to that fact. And I already got them focus firing the Adamants. I'll get them ready and everyone else to start focus firing too. Also, I gotta make sure the Manticores are targeting the closest Vipers as well. Well, I keep calling them Vipers. They could very well not be Vipers. Let's not kid ourselves. And no, they are not exactly going after the right one. And actually, since only one needs to have actual sensors, I could just have this one in the middle stay standard and the R2 with aggressive posture. Also, with that said, let's turn that on full, shall we? Because only one needs to actually detect. And I think this is the closest one regardless. So everything's looking good, no collisions. We're ready to start firing. And actually, I'm not going to launch Vipers just yet. Next turn I will. Because they shouldn't get quite get in range just yet, but I can shoot them. Potentially start shooting them, but they're getting really damn low, wow. I didn't realize how low they were getting. And they are Vipers, so that gives away possibly a Battlestar. And whatever the other carrier ship is. And I'm suspecting Atlas because I'm hoping he didn't burn 2,200 points for the Artemis or the Jupiter one. I would really question that, but the trap is now set. The trap is sort of set, I just got to keep lowering my ships down and make sure it's at least level with them. Which I will be below them, so this may be too much actually for the animates. And then you're going to go full aggressive posture as well. Because I think I can afford that if you're going to just shoot nothing but the Vipers. At least, if nothing else, I would like some good news and actually be in a, win a really good exchange with the fighters. Yes, Got to watch the depth and elevation because I am going to get detected momentarily. And now, I want to get ready to go spot them. Keep them low and keep the, f the Vipers being the focus for now. At least that's the plan, because I'm going to continue with Fancy, and I'm going to try and spot him and then harass him, because it looks like he's turning some. And I also want to try and get lower, so maybe turn off Aggressive Posture for now, because they're not going to get many more shots on the Vipers, and I don't know if it's actually worth it for a single cannon. A lot of uncertainties that I'm not sure about. I just know he's really damn close, and... Actually, do I have a way to know how far his sensor range is? No, it's not telling me. I would have to have my own Vipers out to even fathom a guess from what it looks like. And he did launch a fourth Viper squad. 
Or it could be sweepers. I'm assuming that may be a sweeper. <coughs> Which is kind of okay. I'm not going to be bull bullheaded and just uh, aggressively fire missiles, but I can force the sweeper out in an angle he doesn't want it to go. But let's see. We're going to try and shoot this down. We have our own fipers. Manticore is going to take some hits. But he kind of fell into a trap. Can I do damage with these Vipers, though? Because they're going after that Viper. I don't think I want that when there's one clearly right yep, behind sir. you. Is there any that are high priority? From what I could tell, they're only Viper Mark 1s. That took notable amount of damage. I don't know how many actually died, though. It just wants to give me hull points, because my adamants get 10 Vipers. I, again, just have no idea how many of them got destroyed. That I'm left one wondering until I can actually identify ships. And I think I want to go more at a 45 degree angle, so at least that way I can continue the pushing with the manticores. And at least this time, give them a little bit more support. A little bit more support. And I can still keep firing at these vipers as well. So a little more, better angle. And these manticores, I kind of want to fire a torpedo. Yes, Am I close enough to justify a torpedo shot? Because I don't know what I'm facing against just yet. He's already going sideways, so I'm probably not going to get the hit I want. It is damn tempting, though. I'm not going to lie. In fact, do I just boost and just fire five torpedoes? A lot of questions I'm not certain about. I would love to fire, especially when he has two close together. I'm not going to do it, not until I'm certain what that fifth ship is, which I'm almost certain is a sweeper. Hostile unit identified. So I did dip them down, right? I dipped everything down. Does He is firing standard uh, Seeker missiles, though, so that is still going to hurt, but we got a good look at the ships. Minotaur, two Adamits, and an Artemis. Okay. And now, do we know what the last fighter is? That is a sweeper, right? If I can see what the damn thing is. I'm almost positive it's a sweeper, I just have no idea to know. Where is the damn thing? Minotaur, Adamant, Adamant, Artemis. Where the hell is the damn thing? I know there was another small signal unless he just docked with it. Now begs the question, what's the bigger threat? I would argue his Minotaur might be the bigger threat. And he can't quite defend it very well with his Artemis. So try and soft this thing up, get behind it. And that opens up maybe for a good flank opportunity, depending on how seriously he takes these uh, Artemis. Depending on how seriously he takes Artemis. I do need to be mindful of my one ship that's about to take a lot of torpedo hits, though. And I have no, I can only guess if I'm in range, so I'm probably not in range. And my Vipers are not getting shot at just yet, so that's good. I don't know how good it is actually. Because they are murdering the one Viper squad there. We got a Viper squad there. Oh, that is his fourth squad of Viper, okay. So I don't have to worry so much there. I am going to be on a losing front. I have defensive posture though. Oh, I am firing torpedoes too, but... I can afford firing two less torpedoes. That's not the end of the world. I just want to keep this thing alive because it is about to take a bunch of hits. And is there? I'm already low, so I don't have to worry about getting hit too much by the Minotaur. Is there a way I can start hounding them? Just oh, I ran out of time. Oh well, left that thing is taking a beating though, so I got to be mindful. Mostly taking damage. Well, he is getting focus fire damage, but it didn't take too much hull damage. I do need to turn around or at least get in a position that it can be safe. So, these ships can engage. I gotta keep in mind his missile timer. So, two turns. So, what's the best target here? Because I don't think I can hit the Minotaur very well. I will worry about the Minotaur next turn. Next turn, I'll worry about that, so let's try and damage this adamant. It's got pretty weak front armor, I think, if I'm lucky enough. 
the hard part is figuring out what kind of move is he going to do. Is he going to take this this fleet seriously, or is he going to go after the Manticores, considering that's what took the damage? He sees the missile, so he might actually try and defend that with Flak. I don't like spraying out the damage so much, but I think the damage is going to get spread out anyway. No matter what I can do, since the Minotaur is not quite in range, so make this one Adamant and the Minotaur the big primary targets. And this one needs to turn around. Oh, it, he did switch his targets, I think. Oh no, they both got hit, actually. They both got hit, so I'm going to need to take evasive actions. So that begs the question, boost or no? Because I want to be in a position to harass him next turn still. Or actually, I want if my missiles come up, then that's even better damage potential. So we'll just raise up everything boost that's at least threatened to take damage. And I need to get this starting to turn around. You're the only one that can actually safely start going aggressive. So that's what I'm going to do with you. Watch my elevation. Understood. And make sure I don't ram myself. It's yes, the main sir. thing. And he fires missiles next turn. Gotta remember that. So my Manticore without a doubt is dying here. Missiles unfortunately did not hit the front. But he did turn around he left that thing vulnerable to a nice juicy broadside. Now... Gotta be very careful about this. Without doubt missiles are incoming. And I think he wants to kill this Minotaur so I would love again to try this maneuver. Of trying to shield with the adamant. I did lose a manticore, but he is not in exactly in a good position. And I didn't. Okay, I didn't lose the one with torpedoes. If he keeps turning. Well, he is turning now, so. I would love to get behind him, but this is not the most convenient spot, so. If he's focused fires on any of these ships, he, uh, fr uh, from what I learned, he's not going to get ideal damage with any of the other ones. And I probably was not focus firing the best either, which could be a problem. I don't know how much that hinders me. But if we stop, start softening this thing up and limit fire, because I don't think that Artemis can, is very scary, so long as I avoid its top fire, which of course it's firing with its top weaponry some. But I was focusing more on the Manticore last turn. So keep dipping down. If possible, we get a lot of damage done on this well, that's the Manticore. I want to see Animate, damn it. Oh, the Animate's right there. Ooh, this is a tough choice. Go for the really vulnerable Animate, which almost has its armor gone now, or go for the Minotaur. I think it's worth going for the Animate now. Kill off extra firepower, especially since I'm not in Prime Arc yet. And the Mi Minotaur's not going to be able to hit me until next turn. Really questionable. I don't know what's the better target. Especially with it, the um, Minotaur still having good armor and only took damage on the left so far. Which is what the Manticores are going to soften up anyway. <coughs> oh crap, I saw the ram at the last second. Manticore is taking damage. That wasn't what I wanted. It's just going to tap at a bad time, isn't it? Oh no, it didn't ram. Okay, did I get lucky there? Did it dodge a bullet? I couldn't tell you. I saw red at the last second, so... Maybe it wasn't a ram attempt and I just freaked out. I'm not sure. Either way... We're going to try and take evasive maneuvers here. Further away we are, the better. Just make sure I get more speed to do that. And stay below his ships, too. If at all possible. And this one's about to die, and that's the one with my torpedoes, so... If that could somehow survive a turn, that'd be great. It doesn't even need to engage, it just needs to survive a turn to help with more missile fire. Ideally. Actually, everything's gonna turn. Now we got a window to start shooting at the Minotaur, I think. Because I don't think we're going to kill this in time, although I still want 
I have one animate that can shoot it, so I think that's this priority. And how are my Vipers doing so far? They're still fighting his, that's all I know, and I haven't been seeing his excise for one squad harass me. He's probably going to activate Flak too, since I'm next to said Artemis. <coughs> so let's try and get out. Because if he flaks me, then he just kills his own Vipers, so... That's a trade I can kind of live with. And the Minotaur and Adamant... Let's see, can I get at least in position there without ramming? And make sure you can hit maybe too high an arc. Yeah, it might be too high an arc, so I'm going to have to try and raise that some while watching for the battle star too. That's the best I'm going to do. I'm not going to overdo it. Do damage to the Minotaur. We're hitting the rear nicely. The rear's gone, so at least we'll kill some of its navigation. And we got our wish. This thing survived. Maybe not well, but... If it can continue to fire missiles, I can live with that. But we do have a ram attempt coming in, so... Just gotta watch for the flak. And keep hammering this thing. Manticores, otherwise, are not gonna do much, but it gave me basically free fire. Sort of gave me free fire in that adamant's still alive, so the adamant, my adamant, didn't really do much, unfortunately, that turn. Not as much as I would like, but their missile's gonna come up next turn, and I still got a juicy rear shot. So this still looks really good in my favor. It's looking promising, nonetheless. <coughs> so we're gonna gauge this Viper, because that's probably the only thing that can kill this Manticore right now. Like, just keep it safe. Yes, Get more value out of its missiles. Because I think this one can't do anything else without committing suicide if I were to try anything else. They did good at getting him out of position though. Did they do the damage to justify it? I couldn't tell you. Especially with this one manticore still having to turn around. I kind of want to go left so it at least puts him in an uncomfortable position still. But I am firing missiles, they're all going on the Minotaur, which his flak cannot defend against. It's in a bad position for that. Oh, and I shouldn't have end turned because he could still fire torpedoes. I don't know if I changed my elevation enough to account for that. I've been neglecting his torpedoes. Whichever one has the torpedoes. So that's Seeker missiles, that has torpedoes there. Of course it's the adamant I wasn't even shooting at, so no way I could deny it, even with a kill. And this one has no engineering practically, so it's going to have a horrible job repairing the damage any to its hull. Yep, there comes the missiles I was afraid of. So that's a full hit on the right side. But the Minotaur, his Minotaur took a big, big beating. I could have prepared for that. I rushed the end turn when I didn't need to. That was my own damn fault. But we have missiles available, we can still hit this thing. And I want to try and wait another turn to damage this thing. Just keep low. And just fire some missiles and maybe, if I'm really lucky somehow, that Minotaur dies this turn. And that goes a great deal of his damage. And this adamant took none of its own. So get its elevation to try and shield. For... This Minotaur, somehow, it's probably not going to happen, it's more than likely going to be the focus of the damage, but that's fine. The most important ship with its at least missile damage is still alive. And I don't think there's any Vipers left. Oh no, they evade. They decide to evade. I just don't know which what the strength of his is. That's at 20 health, so... I almost want to pull him back and repair because he's probably going to hit me with flak pretty soon. If I had to fathom a guess. We'll see if I could do more damage to this Minotaur or not, but keep it in an awkward position. Hopefully have the Minotaur protect it so it can keep firing for longer. And hope they can do with the damage they need to this Minotaur because it's, it's taking hull damage, a lot of hull damage. No, never mind, it's taking a damn front damage now. 
He is desperately turning it though, and it's hindering his damage potential greatly as a result. So I think this Mitor, without doubt, is dead next turn. I could probably rest easy knowing that yep, thing's sir. dead next turn. So, can I start turning my attention to this animate some? With everything but the Minotaur. Again, risky is split fire. But I w yep. So long as that animate's still alive, it's still a threat too. And this thing's almost dead it's about to take more missiles. So I that's why I want to believe the Minotaur can do the work. I want to believe, and this thing's going to lose its side armor a turn or two, so it got to get ready to turn, which is going to be awkward because its torpedoes come up, well, two turns, so I can still afford to not do anything about that yet. I just don't know how to get the best value of this Manticore. It's making him really uncomfortable because he was trying to disengage and all that. And I think I just want to boost with this to get ready to get a clear frontal shot with torpedoes. Basically, get clear Commander. of my Minotaur Nat. <laughs> so, I need to recall them, I think. I don't know if it's a good idea or not, but I'm going to recall my Vipers. Hopefully, they can repair, heal up some health that could be repaired, and maybe they won't get immediately shot down or at least killed by Flak. That's what I'm going to attempt, because apparently he's. He's disengaged his own Vipers. Yep. Damn good thing I did that too. Damn good thing. So did we get the double kill? I want the double kill. Nope, it's... It sadly did not happen. But we can still... We are still really close to killing it. Oh. Did he shoot it down or did it dock? Okay, one of my Vipers successfully docked. It only lost one Viper. Which is really damn good. That's only my Mark 1 squad though. So that's the only bad thing. It wasn't my Mark 2 that survived. On it, Commander. Now we're going to try and finish off this Adamant. Because it's still got plenty of left armor. And then, do we focus on the Battlestar after that? Gotta keep in mind Torpedoes next turn, so... And I didn't I have not focused at all on the one with the torpedoes, so without that it's gonna fire them. So I either turn now or never with this Minotaur. In all honesty, so on it, Commander. Now it's just the awkward position of how to not ram myself. I don't think there's much I can do about avoiding a ram. I may have did this to myself some. So say we all. Maybe if I go full. Yeah, there, that's a better option, sort of. Unless it goes with it. I got 30 seconds, I gotta make this work. I have to commit. With my straight path. And start disengaging. Yeah, I should start... Yeah, spread them out and then turn next turn. That's what I should probably be doing. <coughs> a lot of unnecessary busy work, but I don't want to cause a collision now because that is the downside of these type formations that I have no idea if they're actually working as they should or not. But, at least I'm not going to collide. And this Adamant's dead. And we're doing a ton of damage to this Artemis right now. Having to listen to Flax is going to be annoying, though. So, what do I have options of torpedoes? What would be the better ship to shoot at? Probably the Battlestar. I have the option of hitting it. His point defense are hitting hard, though. His point defense are hitting real hard, so I need to get underneath that and try and minimize it somehow. And also be mindful of a ram attempt. And you can yep. fire your missiles too, but they're not going to be very helpful at this angle. But at least it makes it really... He's unable to rotate very well. This isn't over yet. This anime could die next turn. And if I go up, that's bad. If I go down, I probably collide. Yep. 
I think I just take the bullet and go all out on this Artemis. In all honesty, I don't think there's much I can do at this close of a range regardless, so... Focus fire, hit hard, get the one adamant he's probably going to focus down in defensive stance. Make it take as many hits as possible. And it's one manticore, if it's lucky, could still keep firing torpedoes later on. Well, this one's in a good shot for shooting next turn. Not the best angle, mind you, but it's at least softening up and getting ready for follow-up turns. Just gonna make sure it's low enough that it doesn't get hit by the point defense, but high enough in actually shooting. Okay. Okay, dodge those torpedoes, that's good. So, the habit of rotating properly paid off there. And now, he has to focus his targets. This atom is still alive, barely, mind you, but it's still alive. And have so much firepower to start unloading. Especially with missiles, he could fire flak, so... Do I commit with double missiles now? This thing's about to die, I kinda have to, don't I? <coughs> I kinda have to, but let's keep this thing under and keep harassing with the torpedoes. If it can, well, the animate's right there, it's probably gonna kill it. Let's not kid ourselves if I get too close. So what's the stats looking like? Still plenty of armor, unfortunately. It's in a really bad spot for trying to engage, at least for now. But we know what his motion is, so we can kind of prepare for that. And if possible, maybe this adamant can get some protection from the Minotaur, if it lives the next turn. And then this adamant shields forward a Minotaur. Nice switcheroo there. I just don't know how effective this actually is. Because he's trying... Okay, he's focusing down this Manticore, so it is without de doubt dead. But, now we're hitting its hall. He did kill the adamant, unfortunately. So now... I know he's gonna try... Well, he's already doing a turn motion. So is there any way I can get underneath him? And then get switch around to the other side? As stupid as this would sound for, like, adamant, mind you. I kinda would like to do that. And this Manticore took a lot of damage, too. And also, I still have Vipers, and of course the animate that just died, nope. Oh, wow. I still have seven Viper Mark IIs. This is probably a bad idea, because he'll flack next turn, so I need them to kind of go after... I don't think I have much of a choice, I think I need them to go after the adamant. Because they're not helpful against Artemis. If nothing else, though, this is damn close match. It was looking damn promising, this Artemis isn't going to do a whole lot, but... I kind of want to go defensive posture this turn, soak all the damage and get underneath him and maybe hit his blind side some more, or his weak side. Because I only damaged his hangar, which isn't helpful. I want to destroy weaponry, or even navigation, but I'm not getting it. Is taking <coughs> I am damaging the left side quite notably. Its rear's taking hits, Hall's getting hit hard. And I'm still getting hit by point defense, some. some. I think I abuse the belly of the beast. Abuse the belly as much as possible and have missiles up next turn. I gotta be careful, I'm venturing really dangerously to a collision course here. Animates took some damage, I don't know how much of it was meant for the Minotaur though. And I am gonna take hull damage next turn, but the fact this Minotaur did not lose any armor yet is a big deal. And that Armus has lost its hangar. Again, that doesn't help me. I would have loved to destroy fire control or even navigation. But, keep bringing this thing lower. So say we all. And, considering that thing is bigger and slower, I should be able to avoid its point defense gun and only have to deal with maybe two Battlestar cannons. I think that's a better trade because he only gets two Battlestar cannons and I have six artillery cannons on top. Sure, it may not hit with much else, but I feel like that's a better trade for me. Keep that in standard posture, just try and soak as much damage as it can. Artemis, 
I don't even think you can do much of anything, so just go standard and soak more damage. And next turn, this Manticore should have a good missile shot, either at the rear or at the right side, if, he can, if he's going to commit to turning some more. <coughs> the Death Spiral be begins, folks. It's just a question if he's actually going to try. Attempt. Actually, I have a better idea. Do I? No, it's left and right armor is about gone on both sides, so that's not as good as I saw it. I was thinking maybe turn it around, because then I could fire torpedoes on its vulnerable side, but since it has no armor of its own to protect, that's kind of pointless, so just keep its top armor what it hits, because that's what I have the most health in so far. Now go defensive posture, make it a little bit easier, or a little more likely you survive. Oh, he's turning around. He's turning around, he's taking rear damage. And his left side already took heavy damage before. So Minotaur, I think you go hard around. That way you can, your right side is now safe from harm. That's the dream. And you could fire more missiles on this battle star. If I can get this thing turned around while still hitting its belly, or hitting some good portion of its vulnerable armor, that's good. And his left side already took a massive beating too, so... As much as I hate having his arm is up where it can get vulnerable, I think he may be fixated on either the Manticore or the Minotaur right now. So I think I can afford to ignore... Leave the Adamant there, because he's not... Again, I'm hoping he's not prioritizing this. Understood. But if he does prioritize it, it's going to take a lot of damage next turn. But it will survive even if it does take a lot of damage. This is going to be close. It's going to be tight. Now we just got to wait and see what he does. I'm basically just waiting until he ends his turn, especially if I come up with a better idea last second, because I was vulnerable to torpedoes as a result of rushing it beforehand, and it doesn't actually help me if he's still planning. But, damn, if nothing else, it's like I said, this is a damn close match. This could go either way if I'm... If he can get any more hits on my right side, which once I get this turn executed, I should be safe. I did forget about that, but the top took the hits. The top took the hits, and that Artemis is down! Ladies and gentlemen, the Minotaur took a massive beam because I neglected torpedoes, but at that close of a range, could I seriously have dodged it? I don't think I can, and there's only one way to celebrate. This is the stupidest thing ever, but I'm going to attempt it. Ramming speed. We are going for a ramming speed. And let's get even level with him because now my top is gone. So I don't want to take hits from that. Ugh, fire controls took damage too. So got to be careful of that. My firepower is limited, but if I try and repair that, I can't fire for the entire turn. Oh, and I forgot to focus fire. Ooh, look at that. We got the ram and nobody died. I don't know if that's a funny, a good thing or not, but... We got the ram. Was it a good maneuver? I don't know, because I don't know what the hell just happened there. I did forget my focus fire, which was kind of stupid. Which was a little bit stupid, but hey, nothing actually died. And it was a deliberate ram. And now I'm going the wrong direction. Can this thing actually turn around? It looks like it might turn around. I don't believe it. It looks like it's dead anyway. But I had to do it to celebrate. At least deliberate ramming attempts different. And I think that completely killed its left armor and did a lot of damage to its hull. I can't remember what health it was at before. But finish it now. And now he's rears facing me, which is kind of a bad thing. Uh, he did kill my adamant. Well, that was an intense match, needless to say, but damn, did that feel good. That felt like it was executed relatively well. I'm willing to admit it wasn't probably perfect, but how am I going to really know what's pr proper play anyway without getting more matches in and actually winning matches with it? Nonetheless, 
If I didn't do my suicide run, my one anime probably would have survived, but still, it was nice. We lost half our fleet, though. It was good. And the Minotaur, actually, let's see what the MVP was. I think it was the Minotaur. I think it, a patch made, so what did the most damage is up top? 457 damage. I think it's safe to say it was MVP. But this second adamant was no joke either. Keep in mind that that damage is kind of equal to considering all the armor and hall points it did. So these two things were MVP with one manticore, the one that still survived, doing actually more damage than my torpedo one. Which one was my torpedo one? I think it was this second one here that died. The Unsagwa. So yeah, considering this one manticore did more than my torpedoes, which... I want to say we're all direct hits, and he didn't miss those, dodge those torpedoes. That is an impressive feat. But I won't leave you in suspense. Let's have a look at the replay. <coughs> I was a little uncertain about his fleet composition at first, cause four ships with four thousand points could really mean anything, just about. And he did launch three fighters, so I wasn't going. Cr well. Was I really going crazy where I saw two fighters coming out of the same ship or did his animates both launch? I didn't actually watch that part to see what fighters... Oh yeah. Okay, he launched one from all of them. So I got paranoid for no reason, but... We know exactly how this starts up. It's hard to say how exactly my launching fighters at the last second strategy worked out, but... In the end, my fighters actually lived that battle. The only one that didn't live was, of course, the one that was boarded on the adamant when it got destroyed. Ooh, but dodging these torpedoes were a good deal. It's not going to show me that, of course, because they never did hit. It's going to show me the regular missiles instead. Ooh, actually, one torpedo hit. If you ask me, that's a win in my book. And there's the torpedoes on the broad side of that minotaur. It felt really awkward, really weird, I'm not going to lie. Ooh, and am I... Is this my... Are these, are these my Vipers getting free shots? It's hard to say, tell because it, it's impossible to tell a color coding my ships. All I know is that one Viper had a blue streak there. And there goes the first Manticore. First Blood, but since I'm using a bunch of lower point ships that are of course more fragile, that is prone to happen. But I think in the end the Manticores did their job. Because we saw how he turned himself around and gave me basically a turn or two free shots. Not to mention... His own adamant apparently took some missiles for me. A really hard strategy to execute, but imagine how useful that would be if I can somehow do that on a consistent basis. Ooh, there's the torpedoes that I took when I could have been prepared. That was when I rushed my turn, sadly. I could have easily dodged that. I wasn't prepared, though. Ooh, but look at that firepower. Now I can see why everyone loves the replay so much, because that looks cinematic as hell. Cinematic as hells, I love it. And of course, we do split our fire a little bit, as I mentioned before, with the Manticore and Adamant, but still. It paid off in the end. It paid off in the end, because our second target, the Adamant, there was so crippled as soon as the Minotaur actually died, we immediately killed the Adamant right afterwards. So we had a massive power swing, but... It's still a question of going after the Battlestar was actually the right choice or not. And... Did those torpedoes miss? I s oh, that was... Oh, did I actually miss those torpedoes? Ugh. Okay, so I take back what I said about the, tor the Manticord. It could have done the most damage if that torpedo salvo actually hit, but... I didn't actually realize it missed, even at that close of a range. And it almost looks like I ran into the wreckage there, killing the adamant, but we know it was low health. We know it was almost dead. It did well, though. I'm hoping it soaked a lot of damage for the, Man the Minotaur, at least, if nothing else, because... That's what I really want to get down. Try and spread out the damage as much as I can for obvious reasons. It means all my ships can still be fighting at full value. Because unless he destroys the fire control, these things are basically unhindered in their weaponry. And those torpedoes, there was not much I could do about those torpedoes. It was close range. I was already turning, doing what I could, and he was directly above me. So there wasn't much opportunity I could do to dodge that. But there's the ram. It didn't look as impressive as it could have been, I'm not going to lie. That's something they may have to fix and improve a bit with a patch. But look, now we got ships flying backwards. It's turning incredibly quick though, I gotta say, but... 
He still got the shots he needed to kill off my animate, but still, it was a nice celebratory ram. And it didn't even show us his animate dying, so that's a shame. But thank you for watching that all. Thank you for watching that everyone. That was actually an intense match, and I'm really happy with that too. Here's hoping we can do more like that, and improve on it.